Okay, so now we're looking at a kidney here. Uh, so the kidney's got a lot of arteries and veins in it that we need to know. Uh, so of course our renal artery and vein are right here. The renal artery comes in and branches uh, to form into the segmental artery right here. It's going to branch again, uh, which brings us to the lobular artery, which is finally going to branch again into the interlobular artery. From there, it wraps around into the outside region of the kidney here. Uh, and this is the uh, arcuate artery. And then from the arcuate, you have these little branches uh, that flow up into this region of the kidney. This region is called the cortical region. So that makes these our cortical radiate arteries. Okay. So like I just said, uh, from about here, from the top of your renal pyramids, which are these structures here, from about there up is the cortical region. From there down is the medullary region. Okay. So coming back over here, uh, so we've got our ureter. Okay, so the ureter, uh, where it enters into the kidney, or more like where it leaves the kidney, uh, you've got the renal pelvis. The renal pelvis has branches that come off of it. Uh, right here will be our major calyx, which branches to these smaller versions here, uh, which are their minor calyx. Uh, and those connect directly to our renal pyramids. Uh, the renal columns separating the individual renal pyramids. Uh, and then the renal capsule, which is the darker region on the outside here, that completely surrounds the kidney itself.